Well, a lot of people who can't pay their rent are worried about being evicted. But renters who are having trouble making ends meet do have some options. Jacqueline Quinn, live to explain what the resources are and what it means for all of those renters. Jacqueline. And Karen, we've been talking a lot about eviction notices. Well, the CDC has extended their national moratorium on evictions, and the governor here in our state has actually extended that to late fees. Um, but there are a couple of resources. There's the Property Owner Preservation Program and the Emergency Housing Assistance Program. Uh, but to a certain level, you know, tenants feel like they have to also work with their owners, and some have also talked about prices going up, and that's why some are really help, hoping for additional relief. And from those months where I wasn't able to have my claim corrected right away, um, I was at a point where I was about four and a half months behind. Amber Stofko Tally has never been in a situation where she thought she was going to lose the roof over her family. And like in my um, situation, I've been able to catch up on that rent side, but then everything else had taken a back seat. One of Stavko's problems was that she got a stimulus check for a single person, but she has two kids. And that's when I came across the Facebook group of people just, you know, putting down their experiences, um, helpful hints. She also had a processing issue for unemployment and couldn't get through to the state's labor office. She eventually found the help she needed from other people on social media. It took me from, gosh, March until July to even receive my first payment. And this time she's been applying for jobs nonstop and today she finally heard from someone. Definitely feels good. It feels like it's definitely a positive, um, especially after so many months of being in limbo. Yet without the same protections that were in place a few months back, she's feeling anxious. Just positive thoughts and, you know, hopefully our government can agree on things so that we don't have these huge lapses in between. And the governor's office here in Colorado is also reviewing other potential relief programs. For now, reporting in Denver, I'm Jacqueline Quinn, covering Colorado First. All right, Jacqueline, thanks so much.